This story out of Nevada is dark, and heads up, these details are disturbing. You're looking at footage out of Las Vegas, where a car pulls up at an intersection. A woman exits the driver's seat and goes around to the other side, where police say she then takes a 58-year-old woman's body out of the back seat and leaves it on the curb. Welcome to CSL TV, and I just hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed day. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is just a review, a reaction, as well as an informational channel. Hopefully, the informational part helped you and someone out. And we just watching videos and talk about them. Nothing special. And the folks that's have been rocking with me, I just got to say thank you so much. Because you could be somewhere else watching these videos, but you're rocking it out with CSL TV. Now, with that being said, I don't usually like making my intros too long because we want to get to what we came here for. And that's to watch some content and see what kind of folks we live with in this world. And as always, you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. Let's get it. But that's not the end of the story. The woman then drives off to the home of her 26-year-old girlfriend, who she then allegedly strangles to death. It turns out this woman had also strangled that 58-year-old woman to death. And for both the girlfriend and the mother, the woman used this shoelace in their strangulations. After the mother's body was found on the curb, police discovered the woman had crashed her car nearby, who then allegedly told the officer she was a bad person and she had hurt her girlfriend and the girlfriend's mother. This all went down in late December, and it's not entirely clear what led all this to go down. The National Coalition Against Domestic Violence notes that in the LGBTQ community, 20% of victims have experienced some form of physical violence, 16% have been victims to threats and intimidation, and 15% have been verbally harassed. The 37-year-old woman in this case has been arrested and is due back in court, and the death penalty is a possibility. So I'm not going to put my whole face and body in this, um, just because if y'all want to go ahead and look at everything that they saying, if you ain't stopped and pause it so you can read it, and you're hearing my voice still, just know that this is not cool. All these threats, and as y'all can see, 20% of the victims has experienced some form of physical violence. 16% have been victims to threats and intimidation. 15% have been verbally harassed. 4% of survivors have experienced sexual violence. And y'all just see this is just too much to keep going. But that's not love. So y'all need to understand, this isn't cool. She didn't strangle the mom and the girlfriend i mean the death penalty is definitely something they should consider just because we do not have that type of power to say hey it's your time today who is we is not high power you know we should be loving and caring for each other and all that type of stuff not committing things like this and you know that's this shit just really not cool at all when you hear about it when you see stuff like this going on this story out of Wisconsin is tragic. This is Antoine G, a 33-year-old working as a Domino's delivery driver in Milwaukee. According to police, he had been dropping off a pizza at a home when, according to a witness, three men carried out a plan to snatch the pizza. On the front steps of a home, a struggle went down between Antoine and the three men, and around six gunshots went off. Antoine was killed, and the suspects fled the scene with a pizza delivery bag. Family and friends are outraged over Antoine's sense death over something as trivial as a pizza. Critics of our criminal justice system and economic structure believe that if more people's basic needs were met, citizens wouldn't need to carry out pointless violent crimes over something as small as food delivery. Three 17-year-olds have been arrested in Antoine's death. They've each been charged with felony murder and could face up to 55 years in prison. Man, that is crazy. I can't believe this guy done lost his life over some pizza, man. And you know what I'm saying? Not only did one individuals not here on earth but four people technically lost their life and a lot of other people that love them are affected by it so it was like y'all did all this for a slice of pizza you had a gun why and then my whole thing is how did it really play out because i don't think he would fight three people for a slice for a box of pizza you know what i'm saying like do they even carry money on it like, do the pizza delivery people carry money or is it all like, you know what I'm saying? You got to pay it online nowadays. But my condolences goes out to that family just for the simple fact. I mean, that's just pathetic, to be honest.